It's Canada's birthday on Monday. That means parties of all shapes and sizes will be happening right across the country. July 1st parties. That also means fireworks. Now, these light shows in the sky may be beautiful for many of us, but they can also be scary for our pets. Joining us to talk about how to keep our furry friends feeling comfortable when the sparks fly Monday night is Lucas Slowly from the Toronto Humane Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. And this beauty down here. This Tilly. Two-year-old Tilly is joining us in studio here. She's hoping to meow her way into your hearts. We'll talk a little bit about her in just a moment. But first, Lucas, I want to talk about the concern for fireworks and why pet owners should be aware. Yeah, so fireworks are beautiful to the human eye, but they can be terrifying for animals, can cause fear, anxiety, and stress. So we have some tips to try and reduce that and just make sure it's a better experience for our animal friends, including Tilly here. So for those who have pets at home, we know that this weekend is going to be busy, lots of events and fireworks happening. What can pet owners do to prepare? Absolutely. So what you first want to do is say you have a dog or you have, happen to have a cat that enjoys going for walks, take them out earlier before it gets dark, before the fireworks start. So make sure they get walked, they go to the bathroom, and then make sure to get ready for the fireworks. So you want to keep them in a calm space. Maybe if you have a, a space in the basement, a little further away from the noise, you want them to maybe have their favorite toy or a blanket, build a, maybe a fort, and uh, just keep them calm. Maybe play relaxing music or put the TV on, talk to them in a calm way. Everything I like to do on a weekend. Okay, uh, speaking of the weekend too, it is a Pride weekend. Thousands expected to uh, participate in the many events happening, including the parade on Sunday. The Toronto Humane Society also celebrating and taking part. Tell me what you'll be doing there. Yeah, so we'll have a booth at the Toronto Pride Street Fair. So we'll be on Church Street between Carleton and Wood. We'll have a booth there. We'll also have water for if people choose to bring their dogs or their pets. We'll have a water station. We'll have pet treats. And uh, it's just a fun opportunity to connect with the community. Uh, and we have plenty of safety tips as well if you do bring your pet to Pride on our website at torontohumanesociety.com. Okay, speaking of opportunity, this is yours if you're looking for a lovely pet. Tell us a little bit about Tilly. So Tilly, she's she, laid out right now. She is three years old. She's a domestic long-haired cat. She came into Toronto Humane Society as a stray and she's so sweet. She's very talkative. She likes to purr. She is. <laughs> very fluffy. Um, yeah, she, she's a great pet to bring home. So if anyone wants to meet uh, Tilly, tell us how that process looks like, what they can do. Yeah, so come on down to 11 River Street here in Toronto or check out torontohumanesociety.com where you can see her profile. And she's a huge meower, by the way. She, <laughs> she has is. not stopped since she got here. Okay, Lucas Soloway from the Toronto Humane Society. And Tilly, thank you so much once again. Thank you.